Look, I don't think VAT is on the agenda as far as I'm concerned. There may be something where we introduce a level of input duty, right, which will be collected on importation, not on sale, which reflects VAT levels for different goods. That's one, one idea that is going, you know, that is being considered. But it will not be VAT. We will not have VAT in Gibraltar. And I think it is important to be able, as a marketing tool, to mm -hmm. say Gibraltar is VAT free. Okay. So I agree entirely on that. And I think it's important that, that people should be conscious that the only reason why we're talking about goods is because what we don't want is to say, okay, we have fluidity at the frontier. You don't have to show your passport, but you have to empty your pockets. So every guy gets stopped to enter his pockets to see that he's not smuggling something. Mm -hmm. So if there is an interest in the fluidity on the other side, because they want the workers to come in to work and we need them to come in for work, and if there is an interest in people being able to take personal uh, purchases uh, in both directions, then it may be possible to do something. But this may be more difficult than we think, given the difficulties that are being experienced in Northern Ireland, where you know the, the EU has taken the absurd position that they cannot trust people who go from the UK to Northern Ireland that they won't be using that to smuggle sausages or butter into the Irish Republic, which is nonsense, right? Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the fact that, that the UK wants to export stuff to Northern Ireland is because a consumer in Northern Ireland buys goods from UK mm -hmm. already as part of UK, just like we tend to have, you know, UK goods in, British in, products in British products here. Right. Sure. Yeah. Okay, um, another aspect of the deal that um, people ha have asked us about is uh, the customs union. Um, will it not be, Alan has written in, will it not be very bad news for the businesses in Gibraltar uh, that rely on the border to protect the competitiveness of their business, uh, of which, Alan says, there are many? Look, we are not talking about customs union. We are not going to be part of the customs union. We were not part of the customs union before in the, in the 43 years we joined because we were very clear in 1972 when we were negotiating entry in 1973 that being part of the customs union was not in our interest because we don't grow anything and we don't manufacture anything. So we've got nothing to protect. The customs union is a protective market. It's a free market, but it's a protective market because it stops things coming in. We are free traders. We buy from the world, and therefore we need to remain like that. And in any event, I think it's important that we take a very hard look at this, I think, in conjunction with the business community and evaluate whether the freedom of movement is something that will benefit the traders in Gibraltar or harm them, because at the end of the day, the success of the private sector is vital as the engine of the economy to be able to produce the money that we need to supply public services. The public services can only be supplied by businesses being uh, uh, flourishing and making money and paying tax. And there is no alternative to that.